Hello folks, I'm OwnSpac33 and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of the Abyss. Uh, let's see Luke and Ash Part 1. Okay, I control them. Hmm, is that a super replica like you can manage? Okay, I control the body, I'll show you. Will you try? Go ahead and try, you defect. Hmm. Uh, so what's cool is we actually get to use Ash. Uh, Ash has quite a few skills that you might have seen if I was playing on a hard difficulty when I fought him, such as Rending Thrust. Although Rending Thrust actually, Luke had Luke had that, but I wasn't using it. But he also has like these three moves here: uh, Lightning Blade, Slag Assault, and Sonic Blast. And he also has some spells. Uh, he has Stalagmite, which uh, obviously Jade can use. But he has Icicle Rain and Explosion, which are phonic spells that Jade can use if he steps in a field. So, But he can just cast them defaultly. And Thunderblade, which is a high level spell. Uh, the thing is, none of his uh, spells will have a field of phonon burst. Which kind of sucks. But I'm pretty much going to set him up like I had uh, Luke set up. With a few exceptions. Uh go and I want Sonic Thrust. So just setting up some things here. We'll put running thrust on up. Uh, we don't really need steel. Steel is useful uh, for Luke, but it's not so much useful for Ash. I'll, I'll show you why, but I'm not going to. So instead, I'm going to give him a spell. Uh, let's, let's give him uh, explosion. His spells aren't the best. Because he isn't, uh. Let's give him the other skills you haven't seen yet. <laughs> His spells aren't the best because he doesn't have much phonic attack. So let's talk to Natalia here. <laughs> Do you remember me? No, he's an idiot. <laughs> Alright. We got another uh, cutscene here with Ash. I'm gonna open the channel to me. So if that was Luke and Ash part one, why is this one not part two? I wanted to know your stupid defect. I, I didn't read that right. What? Why? Hope to use stop van. I mean, is there youth? Had two, but I attacked you in Kate's store. I plan to use my position in order to keep track of van. They deal with him. So why do you tell me? Like you would have believed me. You have gone straight to Van, told him everything. Hey, I counted on Ripka in the first place. I could have counted on doing all these skits with me, you know. All right, so what's guy got to say? What are Luke doing? See, Guy still believes in, uh, in Luke. <laughs> Ash is, like, really cool. Like, look how he's got the little things going with him when he runs. It's pretty neat. Is this, is this the guy I'm thinking of? Yeah. Yeah, I give him some apple gels. Yeah, I got three apple gels. There you go. Uh, you have to come back here. Uh, there's a couple different events uh, with this guy. There's one where you give him apple gels. There's one where you give him something else. I think there's something down here. No, there's nothing down here. I think there might be something down here later. There's a couple different events with that guy. There's a bunch of different side quests that don't seem to do anything, but actually it's lowering the prices of items in shops. It's this thing called like the town link system. It's explained in the uh, instruction manual. There's a whole bunch of guides you can look up on it. Uh, but basically, just do the side quests in towns and prices of stuff will go down. I, I bet this apple gel was probably 300 before I just did that. That's what I'm just thinking anyway. But 
Yeah, we're probably fine. This stuff here is really expensive because they can't get it that easily. Which is cool, right? It's like supply and demand and all that other junk. Uh, these are the phone stone rooms. Talk to Ion here. Actually, let's talk to Jade. That's everyone, right? Oh no, Annis. Where's Annis? Ha <laughs> Jade's the man. He just insults anybody. Actually, Annis is probably with uh, Ion, right? Like, like there's uh, Ion. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Ha <laughs> ha. enter here? I thought they went to go meet with the mayor. They're all just chilling there. And the thing is, like, that person there isn't the mayor. This is just... that This room is actually more important. Uh, it'll be important maybe an episode or two. I don't know. There's a lot of talking in this town. I could probably skip. Like, we're six minutes in. Probably skip a lot of this. Let's just go in the conference room. Seriously, I don't know where Annis is. Oh, she's, uh... I think she's in the big open room where we fought, uh... Ash. What do you think of the cliff off? It's just as I'd heard. Not very pleasant. The miasma and outer lands cover the sky. The land is a liquefied crust flowing over the mantle. It's no place for human beings to live. Then why are these guys living here? Why don't you move to the outer lands? You know our role. We are the Watchers. We cannot leave this land. Watchers? What are they watching? So I hear there may be a way to raise the Tartarus back to the Outer Lands. We've attached a phonon activator to the Tartarus similar to those used by the Passage Rings. It should be able to stimulate Axeriuth Sephiroth and raise a tree one final time. Then we ride the Sephiroth tree back up to the surface, huh? Exactly. But do you really need the landship that badly? I wouldn't have asked if we didn't. All right, then would you like to head to the Tartarus right now? Yes. Then let's go. I don't think there's anything else to really do besides do that uh, apple gel thing. And now we get the Tartarus again. Can we run a land ship this size with only four people? Only with a bare minimum maneuverability. Sephiroth are the pillars that support our outer lands, right? How are we going to use that to get back up? The Sephiroth are places where the planet's phonons are concentrated and memory particles spout forth. The pillars, Sephiroth trees, are the result of artificially strengthening those memory particle spouts. In other words, we're going to be pushed up by memory particles. We'll temporarily stimulate the Sephiroth and catch the memory particle spout with the Tartarus sails. I hope it works. Don't worry. Begin. like we made it up. I can't believe this is floating in mid-air. So, where do we go now? We can get information at Phone Machine Lab 1 in Belkin. Van goes there often. He does? I misunderstood Van's objective. We'll have to uncover his activities to find out what he's really after. I want you to take Ion and me back to Doth. We'll take you back once we're done. I need bodies here to operate the Tartarus. Why not use your own men? I can't. Everything I do would be leaked to Van. I don't see any problem with helping Ash. 
We two need to know Van's true objective. Natalia is right. If you say so, Ion, then I'll go along. I have something I want to confirm as well. I'll cooperate with Ash for a time. Belkind is to the east. Now get to work. Wow, that was helpful. At all. Saying Belkin to the east, by the way, is not helpful. Okay, because I spent forever trying to find this place the first time I played through the game. Like a long time. But the thing is, we don't actually want to go to, uh, one sec. Safer back from the cliff off. He was saying it looked like true life comes from Sephiroth. I believe those all the support in Outer Lands. But enough to push us back up here. Yeah, good thing it worked. Music note. Of course it worked. Theory was correct. Only because we got lucky, it could end up dead down there. It's quite a sharp tone to be taken with a lash. <laughs> with Mega Man. My apologies, gay. Yeah. Forget it, doesn't bother me. Ash. Oh, I don't want to be thinking of Luke. Okay, so... There's actually an easily missed uh, art for Natalia that is only open for a short amount of time. And the thing is, if you miss this art, then you, then you can't get the second art with her either, so... And I can't remember, though which port it is. I think it's this one. There's a couple of different ports you can go to right now. There's the one you want to go to over here, uh, where Doth is. But we want to go to this one, I think. Not Doth, Balkand. The one you want to go to where Balkand is. So hopefully, oh yeah, this is definitely it. Okay. Well, that's good. So who's our, who's leading up our party here? Well, we need some Natalia in there. We need some healing. Uh, and it's gonna sit it out. Let's make sure everyone's doing good stuff. Yeah. Let's go over here. Be absurd. Paid you five thousand. Here's just a little cutscene. You can read. <laughs> I'm not gonna voice over unless it's a skit. The thing you can only do this for a short window is because Ash is involved in the cutscene. So that's why you don't have Ash for like the longest time. Not to spoil anything, but you're about to find this out soon. <laughs> Yep, so this guy just happens to be a random uh, instructor of archery. How how convenient is that? So he has two arts, so that's the two skills I was talking about. He's only going to teach us one right now. Alright, so we have to go to Doth. <laughs> See, it's funny because... Think about it, all the stuff that happened to Natalia as a kid was with Ash. So like the proposal and all that stuff that she was talking about, that was all Ash is doing. So Jade's kind of taking advantage of it. It's pretty funny stuff. <laughs> and no, none of that is a spoiler because they've explained these things. <laughs> Gallant Barrage. Uh, Gallant Barrage is awesome, but it it consumes like a ton of technical points for this level. I think it's like 20 or 30 per use. Something stupid. Yeah, 20. That's as much as her heal spell. She doesn't have a lot of tech points right now. Alright, so we wanted to part, uh, talk to this guy. 
There's a bunch of other ports we can go to. I don't think we can really do anything at them right now. I think we need Luke in order to uh, to do some of the events at the ports. So, instead of that... Oh look, I don't have to think of Luke anymore. Yes! Way to get rid of that skit. <laughs> Alright. So let's go where we're actually going. How much time we have? 15? Well, let's get into a battle with Ash the Bloody here and see if I can show off some of his skills and maybe even his mystic art. Because he should have it, right? Yep. See, uh, Ash gets all of the different skills that uh, Luke already has, so he has all the AD skills that he had. Uh, but Ash gets to use his Ash gets to use his mystic art uh, already, whereas Luke didn't have a chance to. Now, where's the dock? It's around here somewhere. I can't exactly remember where. It's right there. I remember find, taking forever to find this. I think I went to like every single port before I finally found this. But now I know where I'm going in this game, so. So that's good. Alright, so that's probably going to be some event. Balkind is your father's territory, isn't it? When we were young, we went together to Belkins. The city's to the south. Let's go. Ash. Yep. Ash is being a jerk because he pretty much wants to forget his past. I don't want to search for Vance tracks, though. <laughs> but guess what? Now that we got the Tartarus, the Tartarus seems to cure the map glitch we had earlier, so I don't have to edit in music now. Now that's good stuff. Now we're gonna end the episode by fighting this little plant guy. And let's use Ash to cast a spell right now. Boom! Oh man, six damage, Ash. Take it easy. Yeah, his uh, spells aren't too good. Because, uh, like I was saying before. Man, come on. Because he doesn't have the phonic attack. So let's show off different skills here. Sonic Blast is pretty sweet. Let's get some Lightning Tiger Blade going on. So, Ash controls almost like Luke. Uh, you'll notice that he's right handed. That's how I always, I always found this cool. Ash is right handed, or Luke is left handed. So, his techs are like performed like mirror mode. It's really strange. But it's definitely cool. Ash is definitely really unique to use while you can use him. So that's why I, I I said, yo, you're not voting on the next character until I fight the next boss, because I knew I'd be using Ash next. <laughs> but uh, what are we doing on time here? 18 minutes. That's probably a good place to end. Next time we can go on to Belkind, and maybe I'll show off another battle. But until then, I've been on spec 33, and see you later. Bye. We really had no choice.